Howdy, Tinker Nerds. Alas, for this video, I stand before you costumeless. I've decided it was kind of a silly thing to do, and uh, I think you guys kind of agree with me. But regardless, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Do you like the costumed me or the regular me? And at long last, I have posted part one of my Raspberry Pi cluster computing video. And now let's answer some of the comments from that video. Happy 400th video. 400 video. 400 videos. Wow. And the very first one I uploaded was over seven years ago. In internet years, that makes me like 10 to the 100th years old. In other words, a Google. How many Raspberry Pis will it take to emulate an x86 operating system? The amount of Pis is irrelevant when concerning an x86 processor. And that's because Raspberry Pis run on ARM processors, which is a completely different architecture than x86. Adding more ARM processors won't give you an x86, just like adding more bicycles won't give you a car. Instead, if you want to run x86 programs on a Pi, what you need is an emulator that can emulate the x86 environment on an ARM processor. You should just upload the image file so that we can get around all that. Would be nice. I like that idea. However, the point of the video is to explain cluster computing and to show how it works. And handing out the image without doing the actual work to get there, it's like asking for a diploma without having attended school. But despite that, if you decide to become a patron of my videos, you can find a downloadable version of the image. If you're not able to become a patron at this time, feel free to ask one of the current patrons if they'll send you a link to the image. So can you play Minecraft on this? If what you're asking is, can you play Minecraft on the Raspberry Pi cluster, then the answer is probably yes. But some things that you'll need to note is that you'll need an MPI Java interpreter as opposed to the MPI Python interpreter that I installed in the tutorial. Another thing to note is that you'll need to use the Minecraft Pi edition. Also, I've never tested this out before, so I can't guarantee that it works, but in theory, it should. I have two questions. One, technically you can do this in any computer platform, right? And two, what's the difference between cluster and parallel computing? To answer the first question, I'll say that you can do this with any platform that supports cluster computing software. Just Google your platform and see what cluster computing software is available for it. To answer your second question, parallel computing is essentially the act of computing many different calculations at the same time. Most computers nowadays with multiple cores can harness that parallel computing power within a single computer. Cluster computing, on the other hand, is a bunch of different computers that are connected together so that they function as a single computer. Just show me how to install Windows on an iPad. It's simple. You take a piece of cardboard, you paste an iPad image onto it, and you digitally track a Windows OS on top of it. What's the first programming language you learned? The first programming language I learned was Visual Basic. And happy 50th birthday to the basic programming language, by the way. Please give us a hint on your contest. First of all, thanks to all of you who are watching and paying attention to this contest. As many of you have found out in my last video, at the very end, I had some letters missing from it. And in my next two tutorials, not to be confused with the comment shows, those will also have letters missing from the end of them as well. Now, all those letters combined will point you to a page on my website that will host the contest. And the first person that completes that contest will be the winner. I hope that helps. All right, thanks everybody for the comments, and please remember to support my videos by donating, subscribing, or commenting. All right, I will see you guys next week.